Hi there once again, this is Melissa and welcome or welcome back to my vlog. For today's episode, I'm going to film another Q&A. Okay, so um, this time it's different because the questions uh, that I got, it came from uh, my friends outside the Philippines. So this is going to be an international Q&A. <laughs> Feeling it. Okay, and uh, before I proceed, please do subscribe to my channel. Click the bell button down below so that you will get notified every time I post a new video. Let's start! As you can see, we are in a different location right now, but yet does it matter. We're going to proceed now to the next stage. Let's start with question number one. Okay, so question number one. So this question came from my friend. He's from Bahrain and his name is Hamad. The question would be, how does it feel carrying to work one based on passion and other as a work or profession? Okay, um, so by the way, I want to film it like this because I want to be up close and personal. <laughs> yeah, like that. Yeah, um, personally for me, uh, for my passion, uh, oftentimes I feel so alive because doing what you love and what you're really passionate about, it will never give you dull moments. And um, I also uh, film, I edit my own vlog, of course. And I also do photography. Uh, what else? And I also dream of becoming a director. Well, I did it once, that was a long time ago. And it's very fulfilling to, you know, direct a short film. So it was fun. And on the other hand, as for my job, it's very tiring, actually. Because, uh, of course, you really need to get er uh, get up early or wake up early every day so that you're not going to be late. You need to set ample time for you to prepare yourself and, of course, for your travel time as well. But it's more on like being productive every day, you know. You do your work, you, you go home, you get paid, and of course, you get to earn so that you can sustain your lifestyle. And um, for me, I think work and passion it's actually pretty much the same because you uh you get to earn doing your passion of course while doing your job as well and aside from that um it's a never-ending quest because every day you learn something new right so it is what it is yeah that's my answer to your question dude <laughs> okay so question number two um, for this question, it came from Niels. Uh, he's from Netherlands. Hi, love! Okay, so the question would be, how do you see yourself five years from now? Okay, let's answer. Um, I see myself five years from now um, as a woman who has her own family, of course. Okay, so I see myself five years from now as a woman who has her own family investments of course and um i want to live a content simple and a happy lifestyle um, i also do love to have like a camper van you know the camper van where you can buy a van or buy a van and you can customize or modify inside so that you can travel you know it's like um house on wheels something like that because I really love to like a long drive with the people I love. Go to the places I've never been to. And aside from that, I really want to, I want to take a lot of pictures so that I can show it to people. So that they can also travel with me through my photos. And get to share my stories um, with them as well. So that's what I see myself like five years from now. Okay, so I'm actually laughing to this question, but I think this is a stupid question came from Sean. He's from Australia, and his question would be, do you prefer sausage or rissoles? Okay, so of course, Sean, I prefer sausages, because why not? <laughs> okay, I want to try and travel the world and try different sausages in every country so that I can differentiate the taste and of course I can see the difference of the difference of the sizes you know <laughs> yeah why not <laughs> 
I hope that answered uh, your question, Sean. Okay, so let's proceed. These uh, questions came from one person. He has four questions for me. So his name is David from Colombia. Hola, guapo. Como estas? The first question would be, if you won the lottery, what is the first thing you would do? Of course, I will buy my mom like a ring or a necklace. Um, it's a sign of my gratitude. Charm! <laughs> yeah, yeah, kidding aside, I really want to buy her a ring. My mom, I guess she has ev she has everything, but I really need, uh, I really want to give her something if ever I won the lottery. Yep. So that's the answer to. Okay, let's proceed uh, with his second question. If you have like 24 hours to leave. What would you do? Okay, if I only got like 24 hours left, I would visit the people whom I have hurt in the past. And I'm going to say sorry and apologize because I I might uh, have like hurt them before through my words. So I want to apologize for that. And I would also love to gather all the people I love because I want to celebrate with them. We, we're going to dance, we're going to sing, uh, what else? We're going to eat like good food and of course share our stories to um, one another because I really do want to remember happy thoughts or happy memories. Yeah, so that's gonna be the things that I would do if I only have like 24 hours left. For David's um, third question, okay, um, how many children would you like to have? I would, um, I want to have at least two children or two kids, a boy and a girl, of course, because I grew up having no siblings. I'm an only child, and it's very difficult when you know um, when you want uh, to share something with someone and um, there's none. You don't have like brother. You don't like have a sister. Yes, you've got friends, but friends, of course, they've got a life to live. They also have their own um, priorities in life, so you cannot go to them and tell them what you want to share, like, right away. So, it doesn't work that way. Yeah, so that's it. I want to have two kids in the future. Soon, please! <laughs> okay, for David's um, last question. If you have a time machine, what era would you travel to? Well, David's not specifically an era, but if I have a time machine, I would go back to the times when I was nine years old. I, um, I remember back then we celebrated my ninth birthday and my family was still complete at that time. And we've invited all of my friends, so I got balloons everywhere, so too many food on the table. And aside from that, I, I was very happy, like genuinely happy. And it's, it's an experience that I would love to, you know, um, experience over and over again if only I could turn back time. What else? Um, the memories are still vivid, actually. It's very clear. Like, it was just happened yesterday. And it's one of the best parts of my life. So, yeah, that would be my answer to your last question. I hope you're satisfied with that. Gracias, guapo, por las preguntas. Espero que su visita a Filipinas en noviembre sea excelente. Te veo pronto. Okay, so this is going to be the last question for this Q&A vlog. So this question came from Ash, and he is from Hungary. Hey, dude. The question would be, what is your favorite sport to watch? Okay, so Ash, I don't have a favorite sport, but sometimes I love watching basketball. Because I remember when I was in high school, I joined... Um, like the basketball for women and it was fun I got bruises all over my body because of tumbling down but it's actually the first time that I participated in such a sport before so yeah it was fun to some of the experience so yeah that would be my answer to your question as thank you so much there you go so again thank you so much for watching my vlog i hope you enjoyed watching it and wherever you are right now please be safe be with your family of course spread love no hate always appreciate celebrate small wins appreciate small things big things and anything in between once again this is melissa i'll see you again in my next one